<laughs> Welcome to the Eminem Podcast. I'm Fergie. I am Mikey. And today we are going to be doing a cigar review on the Andalusian Bowl by LFD. Yes, sir. So, the Andalusian Bowl is made up of a Corojo wrapper with a Dominican Republic binder and filler. Yep. yep. And it comes in a tor- uh, torpedo shape and... Really good cigar. What was it like? Twenty five bucks. It's actually not torpedo. It's at least it's, what it was listed as was a torpedo. It's it's called a figu- figurado. Figurado. Okay, that's what it is. Um, I who is it by again? Um, LFD. Had I had any other cigars? La Flor Dominica. We have not. It was actually okay. the first one we sure. had. Hell of a great first impression then yeah. for their cigars. But um, from what I was told was their other cigars are not like this one whatsoever. Oh, Their that's... other ones are more like a classic Maduro. Mm, that's a rip. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a Nicaraguan. No, it's a Dominican. Oh, it's a Dominican. My bad. It's a Dominican. It's a, what would you say? Is it a medium body? Or? I guess you could classify it as that. Okay. Really good cigar. Um, stayed constant lit the entire time, which... I do remember that. Keep impresses me galore. It's number one pet peeve. But the nice thing about that was, I, I think it was also the composition, the figurado, mm-hmm. that, that helped yep. that. Um, because the way it's shaped is the, the foot of the cigar is, is bigger than the cap of the cigar. Is actually the biggest. And then as it gets, like, as it burns, as it it burns tapers on, it, it tapers down and then gets big again. Think of like a cone. Yeah, almost like a cone, yeah. Um. Right off the bat, um, what would you say you kind of got in flavor? Right off the bat, I got a little bit of a citrus flavor, kind of like a Connecticut, but it didn't really stay around too mm-hmm. long. And on the aftertaste, the thing I noticed the most was a almost cocoa cocoa aftertaste. See, on my aftertaste, I got a kind of caramel aftertaste to it, which I really enjoyed um, right out of the gate. I didn't get the citrusy. I thought I got more like a woodyish taste to it. That's possible. Kind of like possible. an earthy, woody. Um, that's just me. Yeah. In, in a general sense, of course. Yeah, uh, it was really, really great right off the right off the light though. Yeah. The first third was good. It was nice and creamy and smooth. I didn't feel any harshness with the cigar. No, it stayed smooth the entire way, which was nice. The draw of the entire cigar it was, was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, nice and clean. Um, into the second third, that's where I started getting some cocoa, um, kind of coffee taste to it, which was really good. I mean, this was what a two hour smoke you'd say. Yeah, it was pretty long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd say that too. The, the, the cocoa and the chocolate flavor was starting to become a little bit more prevalent in the taste throughout the second half. And that's where I also feel like the cedar started to pick up as well, mm-hmm. more of the woody taste. That that became much much stronger. I know online it was talking about spices such as maybe cinnamon or vanilla, mm-hmm. but I didn't really get that too much. Um, I didn't really get much spice through the Andalusian, Andalusian bowl at all. Maybe now and then there was maybe a little bit of black pepper. Like a little baking spice maybe or yeah, something. Yeah, like maybe on the tip of my tongue, mm-hmm. but... It was it was a very very mild spice at that. I don't okay. know if you have the same. I don't know. It's it's hard to say really. Um, it was definitely a good stick. It was one I would definitely have to smoke again because it was just too good. Yeah, it was very unique. Um, I put it up there with uniqueness at around the edge Sumatra. Okay. Yeah, the the edge is just totally. When I get a box of it, you have to have one. The the spice blend is just amazing it's very unique mm-hmm. and that's where i put the andalusian bowl at it's it's a very it's a pretty unique cigar that's all over to put it hmm. what do you think about the last third last third was good it stayed mild stayed creamy um the cocoa really came out in my opinion um all the flavors just married together with that caramel aftertaste yeah and it it was good all the way to the nub yeah the actually there's one thing i need to change because i remember talking to mike about this mm-hmm. The only problem I had with it was the the wrapper, um, no, the band. On yeah, the you had an issue with the band. So when I took the band off, the glue, there was so much glue on the on the band that it actually took pieces of the wrapper off with it. Mm-hmm. And so towards the second to third part of the cigar, when I got to go around there, it started to have an uneven burn and crack a little bit. And 
Mike had the same problem with his Andalusian bowl, which he had smoked weeks previous. So I don't know if that's a consistent problem with the band on mm-hmm. the cigar, but that was... Probably because they're trying to make a prestigious um, high-end cigar, and they wanted to make sure that that band does not move, does not slip at all. Yeah, probably. But the problem with that is it's so tight that when you take it off, mm-hmm. a little bit of the glue's on the tobacco, yeah. and then it, it, it just rips the wrapper right off. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I... Overall, though, I, th- I think that out of a rating of 1 to 10, I would probably give it a solid 7 or 8. I was thinking like an 8 or a 9. Yeah, I very rarely am I going to put like cigars at a 9 or 10. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I think it was good, pretty good for the most part. Uh, much better than the Espada. Yeah, 100% much better than the Espada. Yeah, the Espada was mid. Yeah. Mid. <laughs> mid. <laughs> mid. So, swag. Yeah, swag money. Um. Uh, so I don't know if there's anything else you need to add to the Andalusian. Oh, the price of the Andalusian. I said at the beginning, twenty five bucks. You did twenty five. Yep. Okay. Okay. Twenty four ninety nine plus tax. Sorry. <laughs> um. Is there anything else you want to say about the Andalusian? It's good. Definitely recommend to you guys. Excellent stick. Excellent stick. All right. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for future videos, shorts, etc. Community updates for our YouTube channel. Follow the Instagram, hop on to the Discord community and make sure you join in that. And, you know, we're active in it and we got people posting cigars and a little sub channel and we talk about everything here and in between. So yep. make sure to hop on and say hi. Yeah, cigars, gaming, Dragon, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, <laughs> anime, it doesn't, science, it doesn't, I mean, conspiracy theories, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to build a community of like minded individuals and you just fucking go at it. Yes, sir. Yep. So uh, smoke on. Smoke on. Oh, you, you love to get pissed on right away? <laughs> Golden showers? What? What, huh? Russian chicks? No, I like to savor the flavors and wrap my cigars in them. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <sighs> Damn it. Go to hell. <laughs>